Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, we went to the Mystic Ruins, fought Eggman, and went through Windy Valley. In this episode, we're trying to figure out what the fuck we're doing. Which hopefully Tikal will let us know. There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Okay. Seems I have to go find a sewer. Which actually, oh yeah, I think it's, um... Oh god, Jesus Christ! I just got hit by a taxi! Okay, down in the sewer we go. If I remember correctly, we're down here to get a fucking... We're down here to get an upgrade. Yep. I think these are the light speed shoes. Now you've got light speed shoes. Yep. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. Light speed dash light is fucking speed awesome. Dash lets you race towards <clears throat> at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. It's true. Like, check this shit out. Okay, see these rings? Ready? Boom! Done. Did it. Girl. I didn't even go through that door, motherfucker. Okay. So now we're back out at Station Square at night. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking shit. Like, people in the city need to learn how to fucking drive. Um... So yeah, now we're back out at Station Square at night. We have our light speed shoes, which let us do the light speed dash. Where do we go now? Oh, right, we gotta go to Casinoopolis, which is actually the worst stage in the entire game. Because it's not like, it's literally so drastically different from the rest of the game. We'll see when we get there. First, I got a light speed dash. Yeah, And then I had to hit that button with my face, and now the casino's open. So here we are, Casinoopolis. Now, what makes this stage so different from the rest is... Well, first off, here's where the Chaos Emerald is. Okay, see? Chaos Emerald's up there. You can't reach it from here. How do you get it? You have to collect rings, and then bring them back here to this claw machine, which will shake the rings out of you to make a pile of rings, which you can use to climb up and get the Chaos Emerald. So basically, this stage isn't really a stage, it's just a giant gambling simulator. Because you have to spend the entire stage, which can take up to 10 plus minutes, to get enough rings to get to the Chaos Emerald. So basically, the entire thing is just playing pinball. Ugh. So, I apologize in advance if this episode gets a little boring, because there's only so much I can commentate about when I'm playing pinball for 10 plus minutes. I got three knuckles! Shining K, y'all! Shining K! Got that money! Get more money! Gamble your life away! Oh, I almost got a Shining K again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you were impressed with my impromptu beatboxing there, because damn, I left that going for a while. I'm actually surprised at myself. I've never been able to go that long straight up beatboxing without messing anything up. Oh no! Oh god, I hate this part. This part is actually stupid. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I got an extra life though. <laughs> That's actually the first time I've ever won anything from that stupid part. 
It's actually fucking retarded. Oh, no! Damn it. No! Shit. Shit! Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Boom! Did it. Fucking did it. Alright. Okay, I actually did it. Cool. What the fuck was that? Sonic, get your shit together, dude. Like, fuck, mate. Oh. And will I... Nope. So, here's what I was talking about. I have 157 rings now. See? I bring it back here. These claws grab me. Literally shake the money out of me. And as you can see, it starts to pile up. I think I need, like, five, six hundred rings to get a, a big enough pile to get to the Chaos Emerald. So... Yeah. This level sucks. <laughs> like, like this the Sonic's version of this level sucks. Let me make that clear. Sonic's version of this level actually sucks because it's literally just pinball for 10 minutes. Tails' version of the stage is actually really fun because Tails' version is actually a fucking stage. Shining K again. Tails' version is him following Sonic through the sewers, where it's an actual level. Knuckles' version of the stage is really good too, because it's actually set in the main casino part, but you're actually searching for pieces of the Master Emerald, so you're actually exploring the casino, rather than just going to the same fucking pinball machine every five minutes to get more rings. Like... I don't understand what Sonic Team was thinking when they designed this level, or at least Sonic's version of the level, because this is just boring. Like, obviously you have to, it, it's mandatory, obviously, because you have to fucking play it to get through to the next stage, but, like, they couldn't have come up with something better? Like, really? Like, you have a history of making fantastic casino levels who dropped the ball on this one like you have fucking casino night zone from sonic 2 you have uh, fucking casino park zone from sonic heroes that's an actual level and it's casino themed and it's really fun you have fucking uh what's the casino what's the carnival theme level from sonic 3 I think it's Carnival Night Zone or something along that lines. That's a really fun stage too, even though it's not necessarily a casino. It's still really fun. Like, who dropped the ball on the level design here? <clears throat> like, what fucking board meeting happened where a bunch of level designers got together and said, okay, we need to make a casino level. How can we make the funnest casino level possible? Jason, you got any ideas? Uh, make them play pinball for like 10 minutes to get enough rings? And then they can beat the level? <laughs> Fucking genius. Fucking, you, you deserve a raise, Jason. Oh, thank you. I worked really hard on that idea. Like, like what the fuck, man? Like, it's stupid. Like, I'm already bored, and we're fucking almost seven minutes into this goddamn level. Like, this is the third time I've done this stupid thing, and it... Oh, oh, yeah. see, it never fucking works! Like, what? Like, guys. Like, if you were gonna make Casinoopolis for Sonic Adventure, that's fine. Obviously, Sonic has some great casino levels. If you're gonna make a fucking casino level in a Sonic game, don't make it a fucking pinball machine. That's fucking stupid. Make an actual level that we can run through and go fast. Like, make an actual level that's casino themed that we can actually go fast in 
Not just, oh, play pinball over and over again for 10 minutes until you can get enough rings. Like, how many rings do I have? 422, let's see if it's enough. Okay, good. Yes. See? I just wasted almost 8 minutes of my time playing pinball to get to the end of the stage, which was yeah. in the same area I started in. Like, if you didn't have to do the whole ring gathering thing, that level would literally be 10 seconds long. That's not good level design, and that's this is one of the only real instances in Sonic Story where I will generally bitch about something that's actually stupid. Because fuck mate. Oh Jesus! All right, we're out of the. Oh God, no! Who dropped the Chaos Emerald? Okay, and then Eggman apparently fucking uh, poisoned. Sonic and Tails, and made off with the Chaos Emerald, because these guys are competent. They are competent heroes, as you can clearly tell. Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Fuck if I know. <laughs> I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means it's fucking Eggman. He's always desperate. Good. <sighs> oh look, it's cream! Did you guys see cream? Anyway, on the next episode, we will grab the ice stone or whatever the fuck it is and travel back to the mystic ruins to go to the next stage. We'll see you next episode. Stay beautiful, everyone.